We now know how to recognize when a physical reaction has taken place, but how can we know a chemical reaction has taken place? You can tell by the evidence. When a chemical reaction has taken place, one or more of the following events will occur. Bubbles of gas are released. Heat is released or absorbed. Light is given off. Precipitate is formed from the solutions. A smell is produced, or there is a change in color. And remember, the product of the reaction is always different than the original reactants. Bubbles of gas are formed when gas is released and rises to the top of the solution. For example, carbon dioxide gas is released when sodium bicarbonate is mixed with acetic acid, more commonly known as vinegar. Heat is released and light is given off when a reactant burns. As a result, chemical bonds are broken quickly and in large quantities. For example, paper being burned in the presence of oxygen produces heat and releases light. Heat can also be absorbed when chemical bonds are formed quickly and in large quantities. A precipitate is formed when two liquids are mixed together and a solid compound comes out of the solution. For example, when silver nitrate is mixed with sodium chloride, black specks of silver chloride fall to the bottom of the container. A change in color occurs when two compounds react and the resulting compound is different in color than the original compounds. Color change indicators are used in many chemical reactions to indicate reaction completion. For example, when sulfuric acid is added to water and a phenolphthalein indicator, the solution turns from clear to pink. Smells can be given off when vapors are formed in a chemical reaction. One example of this occurs when iron filings are mixed with sulfur and then heated in the presence of oxygen. The product, sulfur dioxide, smells like rotten eggs. Another example is sour milk. The smell is produced because bacteria react with the milk to produce a vapor, which you can detect with your nose. The identity of the original substance changes due to a chemical reaction. For example, Iron and oxygen combine to form rust, which is very different from either of the reactants.